soon, okay? Uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about any missing locusts? No, Kuno doesn't give a fuck about bugs. So he knows locusts are bugs. Oh my god, I told you that shit is name! Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lane prison! Um, what's this about? Uh, now hold on, no one is lame here. Just tell me what happened, or you kids are in trouble. What's this about? Deny everything, Kuno. You need to lawyer up. Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. Lame. That rings some bells. Could this be connected to Night City? A.K.A. the City of Rage. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Sounds like art. Kuno, is this about Rage City? Oh god, Kuno, no! It's gonna happen now! They're gonna make you lame! <laughs> Stop it, see? No one's gonna make anyone lame. Kuno's got this under control. Sure you thi uh, sure thing, sure There's you There's definitely something going on here. You should check out Kuno's shack, the one with the pig's head. Okay. Uh, I'll... Kuno doesn't fucking care. Obviously. I'm gonna check out the pig's head again. Let's head inside. Oh, wait, wait. The sound of melting snow dripping off the roof. It's strange. What do we have here? It's crawling with locusts in here. All around you, the hisses and chirps of locusts fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud, dotted with little holes for windows. Okay. Like skyscrapers, spires of dirt and sand rising. Accommodations for their insectoid inhabitants. Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case. The lieutenant looks around, writes something in his notebook, and turns to you. Of the locusts. For the missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. So at least that's going well. Um, yes, precisely what I was thinking. Yes. I feel we are nearing a real breakthrough. You think the insulinian phasmid is nearby? We should talk to Kuno about this, get him to stop. I'll let you handle the Kuno side of things. You are doing just fine. Yeah. That's just climbing up. That's the pig's head. Um, nothing else in here. That's fine by me. Alrighty then. So, Kuno. Fuck does Kuno care? Um, I know you took the locusts from the traps of the cryptozoologist setup. Yeah. Kuro took the bugs, so what? You say, you say you don't give a fuck about bugs, then you go and build a whole bug town? Why steal locusts? Can you find some other pets? Um, let's go with the first one. It's not bug town, it's the city of locusts. Locusts aren't just bug shit, they come out of the sky like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. Sure thing, bud. Stop! Uh, she wails from behind the fence, then buries her face in her hands. Locusts coming down like a shadow. This must be the night city he mentioned when you asked him where he's been. So that in there is night city. Yeah, local city. City of rage. City of lights. There's a tug of war over the name of his fantastical city. It's almost too big for his imagination. The girl forces herself to watch again the corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort uh city of rage sounds like a cool place what are you some kind of artist now maybe i am he says looking you straight in the eye did he just say i kuno usually calls kuno kuno hold on did i hear you right you said i kuno made kuno Kuno says whatever the fuck he wants. There are no rules here, pig. He steps closer. I fucking say I when I wanna. And Kuno when I wanna. Kuno's free. Kuno's free to fucking die, bitch. This is what he sometimes does when things get tense. Uh, that's great, Kuno. It's cool to make art. 
Um, yeah. Oh my god, Kuno! <laughs> He's gonna make you totally lame in like three seconds. Don't let him, Kuno. Kuno, you're gonna be the lamest person to ever live in a few minutes. Yo, fuck you, see? Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's his own man. Kuno's free. He tears at the buttons of his shirt, trying to rip them open. They don't give way. Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a f Kuno doesn't give a shit. Alrighty. Don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away. A uh, leaden silence fills the yard. In it, you hear snow melting, dripping from the eaves. Someone closing a window. Uh, that depends on the choices you make, young girl. Oh, come on, no one is coming to take you away. Um, uh, let's just Without a word, she disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy is lost for words. He turns completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. You got him. Now convince him to leave the cryptozoologist's traps alone. Uh, I need you to stop taking locusts from the traps. The cryptozoologists are trying to find something very important. Those locusts are bait. I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. C was right. <laughs> the girl's face appears again, above the fence. Just long enough to make eye contact with Kuno. She doesn't know whether to be glad because Kuno is finally convinced of the lameness, or more worried because of his continued use of the first person singular. Kuno is Kuno, not I. I have to ask, what does City of Locusts mean? It don't mean anything. It's shit. Kuno just likes to focus. Kuno likes to concentrate on shit. Build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck. He turns his face up to the heavens. Pig, you really shouldn't have fucked with Kuno City. Now it's all fucking lame. Uh, what's going to happen to the locusts? Kuno's gonna let the fucking locusts die. Okay, now that that's settled, I'd better be off. The fuck are they trying to catch anyway? With the traps? Uh, the Insulindian Phasmid. Hmm. He mutters to himself. He recognizes the name. Wait, you know what the Insulindian Phasmid is? Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. The fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. <laughs> sure thing, bud. Okay, one second. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I just quickly had to turn off the dishwasher because it's done now and it was about to stop beeping incessantly all the time so I had to uh, jump in before we could uh, before it could do that okay Kuna has promised to stop sure let's talk to the cryptozoologist uh, and now that we have another um, skill point we could give listening into the void another shot okay then you Hello, officer. I think I almost have it. A new trap design, that is. I know you're skeptical, but I have a good feeling about this. I had a chat with this kid, Kuno. He promised to stop stealing the locusts. So it was just a child. He purses his lips, crestfallen. Thank you for telling us, sweetie. This is good news, right? It means we can try again. She acts chipper. But something's changed in her tone. A hidden worry. Yeah, you're right. We just need to restock the empty trap. Then we'll need to inspect the traps one more time. And then maybe we can. <coughs> he has a 38 degree fever. His resilience has given way. Darling, I told you to take it easy. You're getting sick. Maybe it's time to go home. You're right, you're right. We can come back next season, when it's warmer. Um, 
man, I'm really feeling this is costing me time on my main investigation. Uh, it's not worth take. Uh, it's not worth risking your health. You should call it a day and go home. Uh, I'd offer to help, but I have my own things to do. Damn it! Maybe I can still restock the trap for you. We've come too far to quit. I'm gonna restock the trap. Let's do this. Um, let's do the somewhat muted acceptance. You can. Better than having these people get pneumonia on the coast. But after this, <laughs> he wants to see this tale through as much as you. Otherwise, he'd have stopped this already. But he cannot let it drag out after this. Really? It's too much, officer. <laughs> <coughs> what Morel means is we're grateful for your help. She nods to her husband. He's a fresh scratch of locusts. They should slide right down the funnel and thank you again. We would definitely mention you, should this lead to a discovery. I'm not talking co-discovery, of course, but... Uh... Wow, co-discovery? You'd be famous. You'd show them all. This does tingle the pleasure center. All right, I'll get going. Well, I think then... Basically everything takes us to the other side. I mean, I don't think I can intimidate the Hardy Boys at this point. It's you again. What is it? All oh, right. Just the animation. Authority. Um. Still twenty-eight percent. That's nothing. I found someone who saw the hanging. A witness. A witness. You ain't got shit. The locals would never come to you with this. That's just Koptakti status. Next, he's gonna tell you one of us already roll on the others, and is in witness protection. Uh, my witness isn't local. Well, let's hear it then. Who is your mystery fellow? I'm not gonna name the guy, even though I'm not that fond of him. He's not alarmed by the sudden appearance of a witness, but he is surprised. This goes without saying, but nonetheless, don't give out his name. Um, let's say he's a high-ranking government official, and leave it at that. Who he is is irrelevant. It's like you said, Al. Copper's coming up with this on the spot. There is no witness. I've seen this shit a million times, Titus. Fly fishing. They are desperate. Tell us, Copper, what Wacky claims did he make? The witness said the hanging went down very quietly, no shouting, no commotion. The witness said he saw two people of Areopagite descent and one mask. The witness said it all looked like a surreal play. Um, it all went down very quietly. It's you assholes that feel the need to go around like a fucking brass band. The Hardy Boys are dead silent. Yeah. It's like they put cowbells on you before they send you to the streets. What's with the cowbells, policemen? Well, we need more. They're avoiding having to answer this question. I'd imagine you guys drinking and singing lynchings. Uh, I'd imagined you guys drinking and singing lynching songs. What's with the funeral silence? We were drinking, weren't we, guys? I hit the bottle hard. I was drunk as fuck. Right. I'm convinced, Glenn. Nothing off here. Just a regular hanging. The witness said he saw two people of Areopagite descent and one mask. Areopagite? <laughs> Guide, okay. Boss, I think he's trying to save me and Theo. Well, yeah. What is confusing you? Eugene, Theo, and Elaine were there too. I already told you. We were all there. The witness said it looked all. It all looked like a surreal play. That means absolutely nothing to me. Sounds like some made-up horseshit. It means the whole scene was long and drawn out, like it was from a film. What is this fella's problem? Sorry we didn't make it more action-packed. It wasn't the first thing on our minds, you see? Chanky. It's Chanky, right? I thought there's something wrong about the lynching story. Now I know there was. You don't know shit. I know you are lying, Shanky. 
he writes in his notebook. And actually, great witness. He must be really parched because he takes a giant gulp of, pi uh, so of beer. So much bluster to hide the fact that they're uncomfortable with you having this info. Okay, do we have any more authority we can put things in? No, we're at our maximum of authority at this point. Well, um, what was the other one we needed? Perception. We're just going to put one of those uh, in there for the thing at the church later. Perception 8. Okay, so authority. Do we have anything else with authority that we could put on? To increase our odds. Okay, this one is Esprit de Corps and Shivers. Okay. That's minus authority. We do not need that. Do we have anything with minus authority? Right, those don't have any effects. That's plus electrochemistry, physical instrument. Okay. Our um, authority is entirely um, unaffected by our clothes right now. So, anything we find in that regard would be helpful, no matter what it is. Uh, minus authority, uh, this has nothing of that ilk. More stuff, I, I don't think anything down here is gonna command authority, right? No. Yeah, that's minus two authority, obviously. Um, plus rhetoric, plus shivers, plus inland empire. No, nothing of that ilk. Those are the locusts. Okay. Uh, no, we cannot increase our authority. I think we're going to come back to that later when we find something. Because, like, 42 or whatever that was is still pretty damn low. We'll come back and try over there first. So, let's quickly run there. We've made that run many times before. So I actually kind of know the path now. Over there. Over the, the gate thing. Here and down the hill. We could briefly visit the um, the other trap to refill it. We can do that as well. Doing all too well. Yeah, okay. Right, right, right. So we can't check uh, just intermittently. That's fine. Otherwise I would have to check it every single time I walk past and I don't really feel like doing that. Okay, then. Let's see. You don't have anything new to say, right? Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Oh, I found this jacket, but it's filthy. Could you wash it for me? I can wash it for you. But it's going to take about a half an hour. Think you can stay put for that long? Okay. No, we must run around ceaselessly. It would be torture to stay put. I could use a breather. It's been another track and field day. Okay, yeah, I'll wait. Well, hand it over then, and I'll see what I can do. Merci. I'm proud of this one. It's pretty nice underneath all that field. I hope you'll have an easier life in your hands. Well, thank you for that. Goodbye. I'm off. Let's take a look what that actually does. That's the new one. That's the new one. Uh, this windbreaker is like a protective cocoon, placing the wearer's torso in a pocket universe where wind, water, dirt and fire cannot harm them. Huge writing, 100% thin. Uh, synthetic is proudly displayed on the chest. It lets absolutely no air through. Warning, item not actually fireproof. That's pain threshold and half light, but minus drama. Okay. 
Alright, uh, might come in handy at some point. Not right now though. But thanks for washing the most horrible jacket. So at least we have that going for us. Um, okay, so across uh, this makeshift bridge. I think was that over here? Oh wait. The trap was over here. Right. Excellent. Now let's quickly see what happens if we restock it. The trap stands empty near the reeds. No insect sounds or movement around. Only the reeds apprehensive hissing. Okay then, let's release the locusts into the empty trap. The locusts, dazed from being transported, slowly begin to acclimate to their new surroundings. They're not really going to get the chance to get comfortable here. Probably not, no. Good, now that's done. When do you think we will return to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's see. Um, we want perception. That's what we need. So I'm gonna take a quick look at the clothes loadout. If we can find anything there. That would help in that regard, at least. Um, but, hey, at least we, we also leveled up our perception now, so... Maybe it's gonna work. So, perception. Conceptualization, drama, esprit de corps, interfacing, composure, electrochemistry, stuff, electrochemistry, conceptualization, logic, logic, reaction speed, esprit de corps, visual calculus, drama, half light, composure, savoir faire, logic, drama, electrochemistry, suggestion, pain threshold, encyclopedia, logic, physical instruments, shivers, rhetoric, shivers, inland empire, pain threshold, and half-life. Nothing. A half-light, not half-life. That's an entirely different game. Okay, let's give it another shot. Yes, what is it? 72, come on, we can do this now. Come on, please. Still nothing. Sauna isn't even looking at you this time. Come on now. <laughs> oh man. That's disappointing. Okay. So. Alright. Oh, Some more stuff that we've done. The missing insect case completed. Has 35. We're not that close to anything. Um, perception now really high, our highest stat at this point. Alrighty then. Okay, let's leave and let's let her work in peace. This is just the uh, the mother mural, of right? Humanism stands above you, a precious and complex wax painting on a single pane of glass. A crack runs across the length of her body, her face oval and sad. This is Dolores Day. The old woman in the village was right. This must be the Dolorean Church of Humanity in Martinez, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. You knew of this place? It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. It was built not long after Revachol's founding, 300 or so years ago by first-generation settlers. On the coast of an uninhabited archipelago where only animals had roamed before, in the wild reeds. Uh, what else do you know? There used to be seven stiff churches on the coast. Les Setsa, they called them, the Seven Sisters. Only one remains. The rest were burnt in the revolution or used for building materials. We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. I do not believe we'll find anything connected to the lynching here. Something else, perhaps? He looks at the machinery lying around. Respectful? Is the lieutenant a follower of DeLoreanism? Kim, are you a follower of DeLoreanism? Yes, we all are. 
Her name, body, and rule are synonymous with humanism. The laws we enforce are DeLorean in origin. Hmm. Stroking the chin. The woman looks by in silence, smiling enigmatically. Uh, I didn't think you were spiritual. It's not spiritual. It's constitutional. The DeLorean system does not demand faith, only accordance. All right, let's turn away for now. So what else can we do now? I don't think we can do anything here at this point. All right, that's the, the weird hole of silence again. What's a bird doing in here? Trapped? I mean, okay, let's get outside. All right, now, anything else we can find? What could we do in relation to the murder? We could wait for the, um, we could wait for the armor. I don't know who we could show the tattoos to. We didn't have the option with anyone except for the guy at the gate. And I don't know if that's a wise move. We might risk it at some point, but I don't know if we should. Um, this might take a while. Find a way into the secret passage. Sure, we could go back and attempt that. I mean, maybe with the Kvalsund we could. That thing looks powerful enough. And just because we couldn't open the um, furnace brute force-wise, um, doesn't mean it wouldn't work on the door. I mean, the furnace in the end had a different solution, just yelling loud enough into the bottom of it. So, yeah, I think I think we should just try the gate with the Kvalsund. Alrighty. No need to speak to the trap again. I think I saw the locusts in there. Crossing the gate. And let's head back. Man, I love I love these horns in the background. I don't know. They're, they just fit the atmosphere so well. Right, there we are. You don't know how to... Sp you don't speak the you same language. a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. Let's try to push it the open. The door does not budge. The door does not budge. So we can't do anything with the Qualsund either, I suppose. Because I have it in my hand right now. Hmm. And you don't have anything to say. You don't speak the language. The man I do. ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. Like, yeah, we've tried all of that. Uh, yeah, sure. Nothing to do here. Right, we can't go through here. That's closed for winter. And over here. I think we've uh, we've embarrassed Kuno enough for today. If we go upstairs again, I don't think we can really do anything else either, but I'll give it a shot nonetheless. Climb up. Wait. What do we have here? Did something... Did something happen there? I'll go there right now. It's a bit of a sprint, but I think we can do that. Yeah, there's, there's something to click and... Uh, I want to click it. Maybe somebody is home now. That could be the case, yeah. Let's run there. Across here. 
in front of the library and back next to the wall I want to know more about. That's gonna take a while though, I suppose. Hmm? The sea breeze carries more than salt. Meat. Not rotten, not fresh. Grilled. Oh, interesting. Someone's having a barbecue on a boat, maybe. Just an ordinary war. Yeah. It's, a, it's still locked. We have to upgrade that first. Anything else to do here? What does that have to say? You hear the sound of running water. Somebody's washing dishes. The door is closed again. Nothing to do here anymore. You hear someone inside. Walk in from room to room. Whoever lives here must be back home. Can we not knock? The door is closed. You hear someone inside. Walk in from room to room. Hmm. Whoever lives here must be back home. And we can't knock on the door. Ask a few questions about the night of the murder. He lives very close by. No? That's a shame. Alright. Um, so what else could we do? I think... Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day about here. I'm just quickly gonna go somewhere more... Um, interesting. Yeah, let's stand in front of the library. Yes. Uh, this is where I'm gonna call it a day for today. Um, according to OBS, I've I haven't dropped a single frame. That's impressive. This internet is so much better than the old one. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna think about things I could do, uh, assess the risks, think about what I want to risk uh, in the next ep uh, in the next stream. Um, yeah, and when I'm back, I'm just gonna do some things that I skipped on today. Or maybe if I think of something new, I'll try that. Um, yeah, but uh, until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.